Hi everybody, it's Lisa, Twyla's mom. <clears throat> so, how have you guys been? Um, in have you been enjoying uh, organizing my craft room? I've put out two videos so far on getting my craft room tables cleaned up and stuff. So tonight, this is um, where we are going to get my clothespins and decorative paper clips, things like that, all organized and stuff like that. And I have one of these, oh, it's like a bin. You can buy these at Walmart. They have the lid whoop, that you just lock in place. And it's by Holmes, H-O-M-Z. Here are the dimensions if you'd like them. And I want to say I paid like $4.95 for this or something. Um, but I like the see-through ones because I can actually, um, you know, just see what's in there. <laughs> but I bought these little um, label tabs from the Dollar Tree. And what I like about these is there is like a slide-out envelope, which we've got a hair... But, and then the little white card that you can write, and I also have the back that's free, so if I ever want to use this for something else, I can. But then you just slide it back in. So, let's go ahead and get started. I've got my paper, my plastic baggies here, and I do reuse these, so like when one is empty, I just put it back, and yeah, it, no big deal. So the first thing we're going to do is go through each one of these. I'm going to sit them out on the table. These are some days of the week. So put them right there. Uh, let's see. These are coffee related. This is one that I made. And it is just one of these tote um, labels. And I embellished it. Here's some pineapples, that'd be food, more coffee, more coffee, I love my coffee. Here are some of these which they need to be in their own category. So we've got, oops, aren't these just precious? Got these from the Dollar General and they're kitty cats and I think they had them as bag clips. Aren't those cute? So they can go in their own category. These are clothespins with little flowers on them. I think those are just cute. But here is some donuts. So they go over with the pineapples. Here's some more flowers. I'm trying to get a categories section here. Oops. Here are some of these um, waiting to be decorated, but I also have these right here. Now these are tablecloth weights with the little clip on them so that when you're outside on a picnic, see the little alligator clip? When you're outside like on a picnic or something, you can weight down your tablecloth, but I thought those would be so neat to decorate, you know, like for 4th of July. So these get their own thing. Uh, let's see. Monkey cable ties. These are cable ties that you use, you know, for like your, your cables, your things like that. But they are just too cute. See, there he is. And I got these at the Dollar General also. And they are so neat because they're very adjustable. But they are animals, so we'll put them there. Here are brads that are words. So get that right there. And then we have all kinds of baby paper clips or uh, clothespins. Some are animals, some are, I think these will stay in here. They're just baby ones. Oh, and then we have flowers and butterflies. So let's take the flowers out. 
put the butterflies with the animals. Oh, and we've got pumpkins. This would be a seasonal, so that'll get its own category. An empty baggie. Uh, let's see, binder clips. I think I'll keep these in their own thing. Then we have flowers, dragonflies, uh, more baby ones, butterfly, dragonfly, whatever. There we go. Here we have word ones, and these are the wooden paper clips. So let's see. Oh. That stays a week, but they would qualify as the same thing. And this is my giant paper clips. These are my shapes, my shape paper clips. You know, like uh, arrows, stars, um, all those ones we got from the Dollar Tree. So they can stay there. These are food paper clips, popsicles and stuff. Here is some colored brads, so I can go with the brads. Here's just plain clothespins, but they're colored. Oh, and here's some more because it didn't have a big enough baggie. I can change that, though. All right, so our bin is empty. Can you see that? Can you see that it's empty? There we go. So let's get started organizing this. These are going to stay in their own baggie. Um, let's see. I think the stars can get their own bug. That's too big. Here. I like these little snack. See, like here's a regular size baggie. Uh, let's see. Can you see that? No, cannot see that. What could I use so that you guys could see that? Hmm. Anyway, it's a regular size baggie. That's kind of, there it is. But these are the snack sized baggies, and they're much smaller. And I like these for little things, like I've only got four of these stars, so I'll use a snack sized one for those. Put them in there. These guys, the word, um, oh, they're the wooden paper clips, but they're stickers. They can go in a snack sized one. And then I'm going to take these out of the package, the little um, days of the week, but I'm going to keep them on their cardboard. Yeah. So I will put these right in here. They're more for like planners and stuff. All right, let's see. My baby clothes pins. They can stay in here. My binder clips. And I've got all sizes in here. Jumbo, medium, and then the little tiny ones. They can stay in there. All right, and so can the um, paper clips, the shaped ones. They can stay in there. My giant ones, they can stay in there. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get the coffee ones off the cardboard. I love coffee. I love coffee-themed items. I don't know if anyone else shares their love for coffee or anyone shares a love for coffee the way I do. And it's funny because when I drink my coffee hot, I really don't care for a flavored coffee. I just want a black cup of coffee, which is really weird. Um, but if I'm going to have a cold coffee, you know, like an iced coffee, then I do want it flavored, and I do want it sweet. <clears throat> so it's, that's, that's really odd to me. And then my tea is the exact opposite. When I drink hot tea, I want it flavored. 
and you know I want sugar in it I want I don't really want cream in it but I want sugar in it and I, I like the different flavors of coffee and things like that uh, or tea and then you know like I said my coffee when I drink it hot I just want it black and plain <laughs> I have tried the different kind of creamers, things like that, and I just, I have never taken to them when I drink a hot coffee. Uh, let's see, put all these in here, but if I drink cold tea, I want it unsugared. Yeah, no lemon, no sugar, just cold tea. Okay, these guys are all in their baggie. Then I'm going to put my colored clothespins in a bigger baggie so they can have their own and they don't have to be separated and I've got two snack sized ones that I can use for something else Now, we need a big baggie. Hmm. For the flowers, yeah, because these are pretty big and thick. So I don't think they would be comfortable in a small one. Uh, let's see. Do I have another big baggie that's empty? Yes, I have one more. So we're going to put our animals and our insects all together. But you know what? I think I'm going to keep the monkeys up by themselves. Yeah, because there's so many of them and they are kind of a different kind of category. They're table ties, but I don't use them for that. I use them for um, crafting. Which I haven't yet, but I will think of something to use that for. <laughs> then let's put our food clips all together in one baggie. Food clips, food paper clips, food, yeah. And we'll put our pineapple ones in here. Which I think I'm going to save this bag that it came in. That would be nice to send little treats out in. Not food treats, but little friend mail gifts. Yeah. So now these guys are all together. Then my brads. Uh, I want to get them out of the packages because when I don't take things out of the packages, I tend to just throw them in there and don't, you know, like, keep them together. So, uh, let's see. I think we can use a little one for these. Just got to get them off of the card. I hope you guys are enjoying watching me um, do these videos. Uh, my past two videos were really super long because um, when I do these, I like to chit chat about each and every item and look at each item I have and, you know, make that final decision. Do I keep? Do I get rid of? You know, things like that. Ugh. I need something to cut this there we go. This package, I got these at a garage sale, so the package is really old and, and yeah, I like those. Will they fit in here? No, but I am going to do this. I'm going to take my word ones and see if I can poke them through. No, not without breaking them. So, 
Let's try. Well, let's just take them off. What am I doing here? Just take them off of this. And I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking to myself, what could I use this piece of foam for? Well, you know what? I could save it. I could use it for something. But I can't think of what off the bat I would use it for. Uh, and if I save things like this, I tend to uh, forget that I have them. <laughs> Or, and they just sit, taking up space and being clutter and all that business. So I've gotten to where I just, I just don't save things like that. Even though I'm thinking, I could use that, but use it for what? Yeah. So here, now all the little brads are contained in one thing. And I've got more in a drawer in my file cabinet, which... Yeah, I have got to go through that file cabinet, and I will take you along with me for that. Now, darn it, these don't have, I was going to save this packaging for the send out goodies for friend mail too, but it doesn't have that tape thing, you know, that flap. So you actually have to physically cut it open. So this packaging, I will not reuse. Darn it, because I saw a great tutorial on how to reuse this stuff. And this is going to go in a baggie for seasonal ones. Oh, I don't think I have a big baggie because I think I have more of these somewhere. Oh, well, we'll just put them in a little one for now. And there we go all organized in their own categories and I've got plenty of room to grow you know in this baggie lots of room to grow um, still quite a bit of room in this one for my baby paper clips and I got most of these in print mail yes I did uh, let's see I don't need any more of these so yeah and I've got plenty of room to grow in my food category. So, yes, this box is completed. Oh, kind of dusty. Let me get it. Oh, I know what I'll use. I will use one of my electronic swipeys because I have so many of them. And this thing is really dusty. Did you guys see that? very dusty these two if you use these they don't leave like a bunch of smears and streaks because they're made for cleaning like your eyeglasses and stuff like that so oh yeah that was dusty Ugh. very dusty wipe up the sides while we're at it well, okay, one box completed. So I will come back to you guys in a few days with another box to go through and organize. Yeah, it sounds really crazy, but I almost like organizing this stuff as much as I like using it. <laughs> I need to get a degree in organizing. Yeah. Do you think people would pay me for that? Hmm. I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to get off of here now. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and you enjoy the videos that I put out for you guys. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Give a thumbs up and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.